Hello. How many uh, times have you uh, taken your car in for a uh, mandatory state safety inspection only to uh, have the shop come out and tell you that you need a whole bunch of other uh, repair work performed or they want to uh, certify your vehicle? This is an ongoing problem. It's happened to me in uh, uh, two states. Uh, I think that the tire shops are probably the worst ones for this uh, uh, vulture type behavior. I mean, uh, I remember one time I went in and uh, uh, bought two, two tires for the front wheels. I told them I needed an inspection. I told them that the, there was a problem with the exhaust pipe, which they said they would look at it and let me know uh, if they could do it or not. I said, I got no problem with that. Then they come back and told me that I had to buy one tire for the back and it still had tread on it. But it makes no sense that they only said one tire was bad when both tires were put on at the same time. And uh, I get really frustrated with these people over, over uh, that type of behavior. Uh, I recently worked in a, a, a repair facility and the, uh, the management was selling fan belts on an oil change. Um, that they was looking looking for uh, uh, work to build a consumer. I mean, I, I got no problem with recommending a, a air filter because that's that's part of a, a normal service. But when I go on to uh, Angie's list and I, and I start uh, uh, reading complaints on the local garages because these people go in for a, an oil change. All they want is an oil change. And all of a sudden, the, the shop says they got to have all this other stuff done. And, and people get pissed off. You know, I, I was there. The guy shines a flashlight down on the fan belts. Okay. They looked okay to me. But they said, uh, come, this is a cash cow. And uh, that, that very uh, a small uh, weather checking on these belts is pretty normal. I've seen these belts go for up to 100,000 miles, no problem. And uh, they're buying their stuff from uh, like a discount store, one of the uh, top ones uh, uh, advertised on television because they get a, a super discount on it. Well, the, the stuff is crap. It don't last. And uh, it, a lot of times it's more expensive than, than going to a, uh, uh, a more involved parts store. I mean, it, they got people there that... that uh, they won't pay them more than eight dollars an hour, but yet they're billing out at uh, I don't know fifty dollars an hour. And uh, a lot of them don't have any qualifications. Never been to school. They just know how to change parts. And uh, when you come in as a as a customer, you're you're entrusting your twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollar vehicle with somebody that that has no training. And uh, they push these uh, 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 through there like, like cattle at an auction. I mean, they want they want you to keep a, a, the same book time as, as a dealership, but they only want to pay you uh, like like a fast food worker. And uh, when I think of uh, some of these uh, uh, predatory uh, auto repair facilities. It, it reminds me of a, 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 another video from Jippy Loop where, where uh, one of the news stations, uh, I think it was Dateline, uh, caught him scamming consumers selling services that were never done. I mean, uh, when you go into the uh, uh, store and talk to the service writer, they got all these signs that says we offer these services. Chances of, of that service being done like, like the posters say, it's not going to happen. I mean, they're not going to take the time to run these uh, uh, chemical cleaners through your uh, uh, radiator or, or uh, transmission. They, they just don't. You'd be lucky to get the filter changed and filled back up. I mean, that, that's just the way the uh, nature of the business is. And uh, it comes down to corporate greed. I mean, uh, you come in for a, a, the safety inspection and all of a sudden you got to have all this stuff done. Uh, and all of a sudden your tires are bad. You've got to have brakes. Uh, you gotta have a fan belt. I mean, the the list is never ending, and, and in most cases, the work does not need to be done. I've spoken to another garage 
were the customers that brought in their parts to have the work done recommended by one of the shops and the technicians looking over it and said well we can't find anything wrong and uh, this type of behavior it, it, it it's unacceptable because uh, the extended warranties by the automakers are uh, uh, making the auto repair in industry nearly impossible to earn a living and then you got the uh, the tool companies uh, they got their hand out and it, it costs a lot of money for a mechanic to uh, own their own tools it does it really does but yet uh, if you have a water pump come, uh, uh, bad and it takes two hours uh, shop time to put that on and the mechanic gets paid I don't know fifteen dollars an hour on that two hours and it might take three to four hours to get the work done so you can see that they're not making much money the shop makes a lot of money but they also have a lot of expense and I'm just I have education as a technician and I have no desire to uh, uh, work in auto automotive service because um, I can do better working some other job somewhere else in an unrelated field and that's what it comes down to is, is these uh, uh, mechanics want to earn a living so they're selling you services so they can stay busy but then on the customer side of it well uh, why am I spending all this money at, at, at this little uh, uh, shop when the, uh, the work is not warranted so here's my little rant about uh, uh, auto service and, and screwing the customers and it, it's an ongoing problem and I live in a very small town and there's a lot of complaints about just about all the shops around here for uh, aggressive sales practices thanks for watching